Are you tired of the same old mobs? Are you tired of this Mr. Chicken? Or, well, I mean, can't really get tired of the chicken. But are you annoyed that these slimes have been the same from the very beginning of Minecraft? Do you guys have that problem? Because I do. And today, we're going to be looking into a mod. And this is our first mod review episode, so thank you for watching. And this is the premiere. So, what is this mod? Well, um, this mod is where you can basically just have different things, different mobs. And it's called ZooCraft Add-on. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to read this description. If vanilla Minecraft is getting a little boring with the same old mobs being in the game, this add-on is perfect. From bears to elephants to welters, this add-on has many different types of animals or monsters that will spawn in your Minecraft worlds. This is great for expanding your survival worlds or if you just want to build a zoo. If vanilla Minecraft is getting a little boring with the same old mobs being in the... What? Okay, so apparently they did that twice. So here are the mobs, which I already have in my inventory. We have... Um, well, yeah, basically we have the elephant, Steve, which is an NPC. The zoo shrimp, which I actually want to see that. We have the welter. We have the tortoise. We have the duck. We have the tiger. We have the panther. We have the penguin. We have the starfish. We have the NPC scientist. We have the NPC. We have the nether creeper, the mouse, the lion, the hippopotamus, the hamster, frozen beast, frog, flea, Alex, which is an NPC. The ender skeleton, ender creeper, emerged deer, crocodile, corrupted skeleton, brown mushroom, camel, bumper bumblebee and bird and then we also have a bear wow that took so long for me to read here's a creator's note which is for me um and uh yeah so i actually had to enable experimental gameplay which i didn't do which actually might screw all this up but we're just gonna go for it so here's some pictures i'm gonna slowly scroll by which shows you guys but wait that's all you get to see because we're gonna head to minecraft right now Hey guys, we're back, and uh, yeah, so right now I have all the mobs in my inventory, as you can see, and we will be testing them all out. So because I don't have experimental gameplay on, some of these mod I mean, some of these mobs may look a little weird. I did spawn a hamster, and he looked adorable. Like, I would love to have these in vanilla Minecraft, but we're going to spawn, um, I'm going to spawn, um, sorry, a diamond. Well, I'm just going to put down a diamond because I know the hamster is very small. Now, we have the brown. So, coming up first in our inventory, sorry, we have the tortoise. Now, in Minecraft, we already have turtles, but let's see what the tortoise looks like. He looks very green. So, as you can see, he has an amazing brown shell and some greenness there. So, that's cool. Um, oh yeah, the hamster. So I actually spawned a hamster, and I was trying to kill it. I'm sorry. I was trying to kill it, though, before I started it, so that you guys wasn't able to see it. It's actually in this hole over here, but I'm going to show you guys when it's, like, up on top of here. It's very small. It's teeny weeny. So, here we go. So this hamster is actually really adorable, and it just makes you want to squeal. But I'm not going to do that, because that's not what I do. As you can see, this is a running, walking, loving mob that goes really fast. And if you chase it, it does absolutely nothing. But it does look at you. And it occasionally will run. Now, we have another hamster down there, which I trapped. I'm going to actually let it free. I don't know if they're able to climb blocks, but we'll see about that. Coming up next, we have the mouse, which is our third creation. And, well, not our creation, but our third spawn egg in that is new and is not accustomed to vanilla minecraft let's spawn it into this world and as you can see it is even smaller than the hamster still adorable and i'm just glad it's not a rat and it's a mouse bye mickey mouse <laughs> all right coming up at number four we have um oh uh, yeah so we have a hippopotamus i'm assuming this is gonna be big so it does not need a diamond block Oh my lord, that thing is huge! What the heck? Are you on steroids, bro? Whoa! Can someone actually explain to me 
I, all right, so if this is the hippopotamus. I am freaking scared to see this elephant. And also, it keeps looking towards me. This thing is huge. So I actually had a mod a while ago. It was an aquarium mod, and it had a megalodon, which was humongous. Like, no joke, that was scary. But this is also big, and it's crazy. Funny thing, you can actually walk inside of it because technically a mob only takes up a 2x2 two two space. Um, depending on the type of mob it is, it takes up a 2x2 two two or 1x1 one one space. That's why the shadow is only that small and the hippo is humongousaur. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to number 5. We have the brown mushroom. Which is your average everyday typical mushroom, but it's brown. Which actually makes it a chocolate mushroom. You can milk it and get chocolate milk. Not actually, but imagine if you could. And imagine these things here were chocolate, and that'd be epic. I could just pick one, just, mmm, that delicious chocolate bars and chocolate milk. Okay, so the little tiny hamster did get out of this hole, and it's time to discard of all these old spawn eggs. Now, I will be revisiting these, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so... I hope you guys enjoyed the first set. This is not the end of the video. I just want to... Just hope you guys enjoyed it because I actually did. I surprisingly I like this mod and I will 100% keep it. So now we're gonna have the deer, the Alex NPC, the elephant, which would be humongous, Ender skeleton, and the corrupted skeleton. I don't want to see the corrupted skeleton because I have a feeling that it's gonna be really scary. Also, I want to know what happens when you hit this. Is that its noise? You guys hear that? Wait. That's weird. Anyways, we have the deer which won't need the diamond block. That looks like a reindeer. I want to hug it so bad. Oh, man, I love reindeers. Wait, where are you going? Okay, you know, I think he has to go to the North Pole for now because it is literally the middle of summer here in Minecraft. And I don't think he's sticking around for too long. Bye! Have fun with Santa Claus. Say hi to Mrs. Claus for me. Okay, so now, next up, we, uh, this is our seventh. We have the Alex NPC, which really looks detailed. Very slow moving, though, and kind of creepy because their heads nod like that. Can you stop? You're reminding me of those people from the movie Us. Also, that thing killed a slime. That's weird. Okay, you know, you guys are scaring me very much. Please get out of here move it I don't want to see you anymore thank you all right so coming up we have the seventh um, animal which is the elephant this is gonna be too big guys okay it's actually smaller in width than the rhino but I mean the hippopotamus but it is huge in height this thing is awesome Wow, and it makes a really realistic sound too. I'm going to hit it just for the purposes of the sound. Whoever made this mod, which you guys will see in a minute, well, at the end, whoever made this mod, you did an amazing job with the audio files and just the, the mods in general. I love, I love this mod. It's like the best. So coming up in 8th, we have the Ender Skeleton, which will be very creepy as we creep into the night. We have the Ender Skeleton. Oh my god, that is the creepiest thing ever. Looks like an Enderman vomited all over the skeleton, and he's just like, I, I, I can't. Oh, and he has a crossbow. Nice. So, um, we also have the Corrupted Skeleton, and I hope you guys can still see. It's pretty dark. We have the Corrupted Skeleton, which is that guy. He's like a cyborg skeleton, which kills Steve's, apparently. So, this guy looking pretty epic. Also, very spooky. And it'd be a great Halloween thing to have in your Minecraft world. Okay, so I switched it back to daytime because it's getting kind of annoying um, being in the dark. But um, if we can find that pit of old spawn eggs, here we go. Just pop them all in here if we can. See, my thumbs are way too big for like the, um, the hot bar, which is this thing here that I'm pressing on. 
So, like, I can't see if the spawn egg is being thrown out of my inventory or not, which gets very annoying, but as you can imagine, you know, I have to deal with it. So, we have the bear, we have the lion, we have the frozen beast, which actually looks like my name, Frozen Banana, we have the spawn duck, and we got a flea. I don't know if I want to see that flea, but definitely going to be needing the diamond. So, right now, we're going to spawn the bear, which will be pretty big. Oh, and it's pretty small. Is that the average size? Oh, they're so cute. It's like Build-A-Bear. You guys ever been there? It's actually pretty great. <laughs> it's like Build-A-Bear. And um, so that was our eighth, I think, or something. And there's one of them. Now moving on. I lost count, but this is like our ninth or tenth. We have the lion. It's going to be kind of scary, so we better step back. Oh, my. And, yeah. So, as you can see, this line has no middle section at all. In fact, his middle section is in the wrong spot. Now, this is most likely because I didn't turn on experimental mode, which messed that up. But, as you can imagine, this line looks pretty dope, even if he doesn't have the middle of his body. He looks like... I don't even know. He just looks awesome. He looks like... Okay, maybe he doesn't look that awesome. Coming up on our next one, we have the Frozen Beast. Ah, it's basically a zombie that has been vomited on by an Enderman. So, you know, oh, did he just teleport or was that just my game lagging? I don't know. Let's spawn a duck. Let's see how cute it is compared to a chicken. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's basically a chicken, but with a green head and a yellow, well, it has a yellow the chickens have yellow beaks, I think. But, um, yeah. So it's basically a mini chicken. Well, it's basically the same size chicken with a different beak, and it makes a new sound. Let's spawn a flea, which we will probably need. Oh, uh, what? You guys see that? That thing is so small. I bet if I spawn a thousand of them, I'd be... You guys see that little flying thing? You, like, cannot see them. That's the flea. That was very, very boring for the last one of this set. Into the magical trash dump of spawn eggs. Here we go. We're throwing all these spawn eggs down, and I think some of them are actually despawning, which is good for us. That means we don't have to deal with them at the end of this video. So, um, yeah. And we're definitely throwing that flea one in there, because that was just...